Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be going through how to uh, do a flow decision in a flow chart. Now, so far um, in my recordings, I've only focused on a sequence uh, where you just drop it back to back if you've looked at my previous videos. But today I'm going to change it up and do a flow decision. So for that, we will need a flow chart. Flow chart. This is what a flowchart looks like. So it's got the start. You've got different uh, access points where it comes off the start at the same time. You can do things off the same time, I'm pretty sure. And you can start the process from there. Now, first of all, we're going to get some text. Actually, no. We're going to do a input dialog. So this is input dialogues are the same you just got to click into it to actually get how you would look at it from a sequence point of view uh, so we got the title uh, we're going to put as give me a number give me a number Give me a number. Boom. So they're going to have to give me a number. The output result will be, of course, number. <laughs> oh, oopsies. That's the very old number. Yeah, very creative. Uh, I just got to go back to variables because I accidentally created this one. Bye bye. Um, so from that we need a flow decision. Flow decision. That's what a flow decision looks like on the outside. There's really nothing to it. You can't double click into it. Uh, but the condition is up here. So we got a true side, false side. And yeah, so the condition will be, uh, we're just going to open this up, if, kidding, uh, number, I'm going to go, greater than, none. Okay. Yep, we're gonna make it as that, so it has no problem with that. Just has to think through something. Um, the flow decision. Then we're gonna have a couple of message boxes coming off that. Message boxes. One on the false side. One on the true side. Now, when you click on something, you don't actually um, you don't actually have to go into it. You can actually do it in the properties. I just like to go into it. Uh, just easier personally. That doesn't mean that you have to do it at all. Just that's what I like to do. Your number was smaller than. We go. Your number was larger than none. Uh, so oops, little typo in here. Uh, so from there, so I just had a little incident over there. Uh, all right. So we'll just save that, run it, see what we get. So the execution uh, isn't actually different, same execution, it's like not a lag time on one of them, only if you put a delay. Uh, you can you can view that video if you just go to my channel, view it from there. Give me a number. 
10. Oops, I, <laughs> I know what the problem is. This is the wrong symbol. Oops. Now it'll work. <laughs> it's like, what? What happened? And then I realized. Give me number 10. Your number was larger than 9. Now, uh, what can that be used for, you may ask? A lot of things. Uh, now, I'll just pull up a file. Uh, do, 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 do. Start. Um, open. Where is it? Do, do, do. Wow. Wow. Where is it? We'll see if this is it. I think it is. All right. This is what you can create. Now, I know this is, is, isn't really uh, for business. I'm just showing you a larger process and we'll go through and review what I did in this process in just a moment. Uh, what's your first guess between zero and a thousand? Oh my god. So, just 500. Guess a smaller number. 225. Guess a smaller number. 125. Guess a bigger number. Uh, 150. Guess a smaller number. 140. 145. 143. 142. Correct. Nine guesses. So that took me nine guesses. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but this one, um, I'm actually going to review it for you guys. And here's a little treat for you. I know you weren't expecting it. But this is how you create a random number. Just, just, if you want a random number. So this was actually made in a flowchart. Uh, I find it easier to... Uh, make these bigger processes in a flowchart. It's just, especially with a lot of decisions. If you have one, um, if you even have one decision, I prefer to go through to the flowchart. Uh, unfortunately, uh, UiPath doesn't have a easy switch that you can go from flowchart to sequence, and it actually updates both when you make a uh, change on only one of them. It doesn't do that. It doesn't do that at all. Uh, so, wow, so we go, to create a new random number, we go, uh, yeah, it's this one, new, random, open bracket, close bracket, dot, next, open bracket, the num, uh, the minimal, the smallest number, comma, the biggest number, close bracket, boom, that's done, Ooh. Uh, so, just to uh, point this out, it's in an assign. Uh, it's in a sign box. Um, and yeah, so we got the new random number, which is the number you have to guess. So for the previous one we just did, I think it was 141, if I remember correctly. Then uh, that's assigning to random. Um, and then we go into what's your first guess as an assign for hint. I'm not sure why I did that. Wow. And then it also assigns count as one. Now, we've gotten through all those counts. We've assigned the random. So now to go into an input dialog. The output is guess, which is very important for later. Um, so there you go. 
what's your first guess or something and then it goes into a, a a flow decision if guess equals random if it's true we go into a message box that says like well done uh correct and then it tells and of uh plus count plus guesses um which you saw, which for me was like, correct, nine guesses. And it looks very messy here, but it looks very clean when it's run. Okay. So, then if it's not true, we go into an assign. Count equals count plus one, which is really important. Then it goes into another decision. If guess is less than random, then um, if that's true, you got to go guess a bigger number, because it's smaller, you got to go higher. And if that's false... Guess a smaller number, and both of those link back to this first question here. That's exactly how you do it. Um, just to show, yeah, the guessing game. Wow, that's what I called it. Woo, yeah. Also, yeah, I put hint as guess a smaller number. If it goes through here, remember, that's why I did it. This is sign hint. What's your first guess? So this is... Um, the label, the question that you see, is actually hint. Then it goes, guess a bigger number, hint. Guess a smaller number, hint. That's how you do it, guys. So, I know uh, this is very random, as I said before. And, um, you, it's just, it's a, just about uh, knowing how to do the condition. It was really just about the condition, um, of the flow decision and how to make that uh, work. There are different ways you can do the flow decision. That's all a bit about uh, testing for examples. That's something you can't, some things you can do, some things you really just can't. Uh, yeah, and you just need uh, an another thing like on Gmail. You can do automations on Gmail. You don't actually need UiPath for those automations. Uh, so that's our video for today. Make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, hit the notifications bell so you can see more videos like this. And I'll see you next time.